Hello, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, today we're going to continue on the Pro User Tips with the uh, short delay. Uh, my previous uh, subjects have been a long reverb, a short reverb, a long delay, and this is the final one, short delay. Uh, this is an effect channel, like I've said previously, that I have every time I open up my project. Again, it just gives me some go-to effects uh, to, to start the, the, the uh, production process. So let's open up the mixer, play the little track again. We're using the same tutorial as we have done before, so you'll recognize the sounds. So if we open up the mixer, here's our short delay channel and on this one again I've got the wave super tap uh, I've only got two taps on this one with slightly different times uh, again after that I have a fab filter just to roll off any bottom end and to to tweak the the delay if I need to so we'll use the sim stabs again I've already assigned it so let's turn turn a little bit of volume on There you go, instantly recognizable. The difference between this is because there's only a couple of taps uh, and there's not a lot of feedback, it doesn't go on forever. So it just adds a little shuffle to the, to the sound. So let's hear it on the hi-hats. So you can hear there it gives it a nice little shuffling effect I tend to use it a lot on percussive elements again just because it gives it a little bit a uh, little bit of shuffling let's listen to it on these there you go it's created a little bit more groove so let's leave a little bit on on all of these and on the synth So there you can hear, it's quite a, a good little effect, um, like I said, for any short percussive elements or little stabs, uh, it just adds a little bit of shuffle, a little bit of groove to your track. Uh, you can apply a lot, you can use it as an effect, uh, similar to the long reverb and the long delay. Uh, so again, really useful go-to tool. And like I've said, you know, I like to have these four channels uh, set up, or a minimum of four. I start with four, then I usually add, add some more. Like I said here, I've got my external uh, TC Electronic effects unit. Uh, I also have like a mid-side one. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's basically it for these sets of tutorials uh, regarding effects channels. So until next time, don't forget, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye-bye. Well, well.